Hey everyone, today I want to talk to you about one of my favorite topics, technology, and how important technology is to your voiceover business. Every moment is a teachable moment. So, you may think that the only thing that's important to your voiceover business is your voice, right? But there are lots of other things that are super important to help run your business smoothly. And one of those is to have a good knowledge of technology because you're going to be dealing with technology throughout your business. So let's break this down. You're going to need to understand the technology involved in your audio editing program. So number one, you're going to have to pick your audio editing program um, and then learn it and be adept at it so that you can get your files to your clients efficiently. You could pick Adobe Audition, Twisted Wave, Pro Tools, Audacity, Whatever editing software you use, you're going to have to be able to go and get that, purchase it, download it, install it, and then learn how to use it. Google is your friend, and there are lots of wonderful people in this industry that can help you to learn your recording software and learn your editing software. So the next part of your troubleshooting is going to be hardware troubleshooting. So there's software troubleshooting, such as in your recording software, and there's hardware troubleshooting, such as in your equipment. So if your audio interface doesn't work anymore, if something happens with your microphone, if you hear noises, if you hear any type of weird things going on with your technology, a buzz, you're going to need to know how to troubleshoot that. So what I like to do with my hardware is to label every piece of equipment. And of course, I'm, I typically consult with an engineer who that is their job. That's all they do to get my equipment set up properly uh, the way that it's going to deliver great audio for me time and time again. And so once that is in place, I make sure that I create my labels, which I label every cable going to every single interface. I label the back of the interface and I take pictures. So always a good idea to take pictures of your setup in case something goes wrong and you're unplugging cables and you don't know, oh my gosh, where did I put that cable? You'll know if you label it properly. Get familiar with your technology and also make sure that you have backup technology too because if something happens in the middle of a live directed session, you're gonna need to be able to change a cable quickly, change out an interface quickly and or change microphones. So good idea to label and take pictures and maybe even notes so that the next time you have to maybe set that up again or replace parts, you're going to know how that all goes together. Depending on your operating system, it's always a good idea to make sure that you have all of your files backed up. And so I always, always recommend having a backup software or a backup system so that every day you are backing up the files that you recorded that day, or maybe once every other day, maybe once a week, you have a backup system in place. There's lots of software out there that can help you to do that. There's lots of software on the cloud. I happen to use a software called Backblaze. I also use a very, very cool little piece of software called Sync that allows me to sync from one drive to the next. So all of my audio files are on one hard drive and every night, the, they get backed up to the second drive. So to wrap this up, it's important for you to be familiar with your technology and educate yourself on technology and new technologies so that you can be efficient in your business and serve your clients. Thanks so much for watching, guys. If you're interested in more business tips for your voiceover business, go ahead and check out my collection here. Thanks so much, guys. I'll see you next week.